All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we've got some pretty big breaking news here. Not terribly unexpected, but nevertheless significant. We've got a scheduling change for this week. The Seattle Seahawks have a game this weekend against the Rams, and it looks like it's not actually going to be this weekend. Seahawks at Rams and Washington at Philadelphia, while we're here, are both expected to be rescheduled for Tuesday, per sources, according to Adam Schefter on Twitter. So, while it's not set in stone yet, I think we can all safely assume that this upcoming Rams game is going to be pushed back two days. So... A lot of things to digest there, a lot of things to consider, a lot of angles to go from. So let, let, let's let start trying to move through that here because uh, you, you have basically just the, the bottom line fact here, which is uh, we're not going to play this Sunday, we are going to play on Tuesday, and the players seem unhappy about it, The uh, a, a lot of Seahawks fans don't seem very happy about it. And I can see this going in a pretty negative direction, but let, let's uh, take these things one by one. So, it was said previously by the NFL that they weren't going to be rescheduling any games this year, that if a team had a COVID outbreak, they were going to force the team with the COVID outbreak to forfeit their game. So, now we've had three games rescheduled this week because the Browns-Raiders game has also been moved to, um, uh, I think, Monday night. So we're going to have double header on Monday and double header on Tuesday, it looks like. So the league has decided to change their mind, and some people are unhappy about that. Uh, K.J. Wright was on Twitter um, expressing his extreme displeasure with this decision. Uh, there are some Seahawks players that are kind of tweeting, insinuating that they're not thrilled about this as well. And... That is certainly understandable because the league did say they were going to do one thing and now they're doing another thing now that they're actually faced with having to make the decision. And given the timeline of the Rams COVID outbreak versus the um, potential Seahawks outbreak, which we'll, we'll, we'll know more about that later today, I could see this going in a way that really works against the Seahawks. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I guess. So let, let, let's just focus on the key issue here, which is that the league said that a COVID outbreak would mean you have to cancel your game. And now we've had COVID outbreaks and those teams are not being forced to cancel and forfeit their games. On the one hand, I get it. The league said they were going to do one thing. Now they're doing another thing. And the players especially feel like, well, okay, uh, your word is worth nothing, I guess. Like, you, you told us this is the way it was going to be. Now it's not this way. I get it, but here, here's my thing. And I understand that Seahawks fans especially feel a little slighted by this because the, the, the Rams would have been the team that would have had to forfeit this game. They, they feel like that we should be getting a win that we otherwise... Um, May, may have not been able to get. They feel like we should be the team that is being rewarded for this because we didn't get infected and the Rams did. But here's my thing. Just trying to be objective here, I don't get the sense the Rams did anything wrong. I don't think the Browns did anything wrong. I don't think Washington did anything wrong. They got their players vaccinated and the vaccine had no effect. <laughs> If they had a bunch of unvaccinated players and they were willing to live with the results of having that and then there was some big infection that knocked a bunch of players out, then I would understand saying, okay, live with your the consequences of your decisions. You're going to have to forfeit this game. But my thing is, I don't see how these teams did anything wrong. I think it would, in, on some level, it would be unfair. To those teams. It would be implying that they did something wrong here, and I don't get the sense that they did. Now, 
forfeiting a game in the NFL, that, that's no small thing. If the Rams forfeit this game, their hopes of winning the division are pretty much gonzo bonzo. So if you're going to have them forfeit a game, you better be really sure they did something to earn that forced forfeit. And I'm just not sure we're seeing that here. If all these uh, infected players, like the 25 players we got, are vaccinated and they, they've been following general COVID protocol, then I I don't know. I, I know, guys. I know we want to take the win. I know we feel like it's their fault we have to move this game. It's their fault, so therefore why aren't they getting punished for it? But did they do anything wrong? I'm trying to be objective here, guys. I, I, that That's the way I try to beat things around here. I don't try to just be a Seahawks fan who would love to get a free win. As weird as that would be. Like, like that would be feel weird. But, of course, I want to win. But I'm trying to be real here. So, that's my perspective on it. I get it. This is probably the best possible solution. It's... The league will have to own the fact that they said they were going to do one thing and they're now doing another thing. Um, the, the concern that I have right now, the real concern, is that the Rams are currently in the peak of their outbreak, right? They, they've got 25 players. They may have more uh, later today. They've got 25 players who tested posi. So they're peaking. So by Tuesday, it might be cool. That's the, that's the plan here. The Seahawks had a couple players test positive yesterday, and and we'll we'll uh we'll find out uh we'll we'll find out if that spread to anybody else. Hopefully later today, but the timing is such that we might be peaking next week, early next week in this outbreak. It might spread to the whole team by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What what do we do then? Are we the team that has to forfeit now? What, do we have to play the game anyway? Are they going to say, no, we can't delay the game again. You're just going to have to play with no players. If that happens, and I, I, it's on the table, it has to be on the table, right? Like everything I just said, it lines up in terms of like common sense and timing, right? If that happens, then we're going to have a problem. Then I'm going to get on here and I'm going to call Roger Goodell some names. I might even say we shouldn't even watch this game. The NFL doesn't deserve any any eyes on this game. This game is a sham. This game is a joke. If they're actually going to do that. <laughs> and I I hope it doesn't come to that. But bottom line is, however we may feel about it, the league seems to have spoken here. Seahawks at Rams to be moved to Tuesday, probably Tuesday evening or Tuesday night. And we got to go with it. So hopefully both teams are able to field a squad and um, there are some other cans of worms to open here, too. What if the Rams aren't able to get a slew of negative tests before the game? What if it Tuesday comes around and they still can't get their roster in a playable state? Are they going to have to then forfeit? We'll find out, but uh, this, is, uh, this is interesting theater. Interesting theater. See you guys later today. Go Hawks. Going to have to find a few more, wait a few more days to determine our fate, I guess.